all right so today i'm going to be working on a kawasaki ninja 650 i'm going to be replacing uh the front black light switch let's get to it yo what's up guys uh this is rb on two wheels again with another video so this time uh this is going to be a short video because uh I'm going to fix something simple you know i do these videos because i want others to learn from uh, on how to work on their bikes because if i do a video working on my bike there is someone else who has the same bike as i do even if it's not it's not the same bike but it's the same concept you know so they can work on their motorcycles that's why i make these videos so today i'm going to be working on uh, my front brake switch which is located under here and i will show you shortly but uh i'm going to be replacing uh replacing the switch with this aftermarket switch uh which i got on ebay uh they come in they come in a pair so if you buy if you buy it they're gonna come in a pair because um i found out that my switch was trying to uh misfunction so when I was riding, I looked back when I pressed uh, my front brake, the light didn't come on. So that's when I discovered that my, my front brake light switch is not working. All right, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to take off uh, this uh, brake rubber so that I can get to the switch. The switch is uh, under here, this one here. So uh, I'm going to disconnect this, this cable here. Once I'm done taking off, uh, taking off uh, the brake lever, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect uh, the power here and then take off the switch. So oh, let's get to that. So this takes only 10 mil, so it's not, it's not that hard. It's an easy job to do. Yeah, as you can see uh this here this small thing here this is the brake switch so this is uh, the one i'm going to be taking out this is it so now what i'm going to be do what i'm going to do is i'm going to disconnect this here pull those out bam oh man yeah ah, they were bent look at that so how this works is you know like when you release your brakes this uh this pin here you see this you see this pin here when this pushed in that's when your brake lights uh, go off so when uh, you pull your brakes this switch here uh is uh, it, it pops out which triggers the brakes to turn on so this is on and off switch for the brakes so if this is damaged your brakes still gonna work but you will not be having uh your brake lights turning on unless you use the rear brakes because they both have uh Two different switches this one is uh, this one is uh, is for the front and the back uh, the, the rear brake also has its own switch so when i when i when i when i found out that my brake uh, my front brake switch doesn't work i was using the rear brakes just to let uh, drivers behind me know that i'm intending to stop so now as you can see this one is damaged compared to to this one here you see how this one is so yeah i'm going to install a new one this one here and i'm gonna keep this one just in case so connect these cables back together bam and bam then it's time to put this bad girl back on as you can see this is an easy job uh, provided you have the tools you know it's not tight it's not difficult to do this but most people who are uh, who are who are not mechanically inclined may 
may fear to do this themselves. They, they prefer taking this to uh, maybe to a mechanic. But yeah, now I'm just going to put back on uh, the brake, uh, the, uh, the brake levers and then call it a day. All right, guys, that's it. Everything is back on. Uh, you saw the new uh, front brake light switch. So let's see if this works. All right, guys, uh, that's it for me. Um, if you like what I do, please uh, consider subscribing, share, comment, and until then, I will see you next time.